Yeah, so I, I uh, differentiate um, for a few things, packs, of course, and they have- Oh, I forgot about uh, chest, yeah. Yeah, and they have upper lower packs. Um, for core, you also have the rectus abdominis, which is typically the only muscle that men uh, sometimes really care about developing. What is it uh, The six-pack muscle, the rectus abdominis. It's the, basically the six-pack, but it's pretty much impossible to train a six-pack without the obliques. So you get the closest with just crunching movements okay. rather than side bending and rotation and everything. Um, but they're still, it sounds like for you that's not really a problem. So you could add some crunches, reverse crunches in there. Uh, for triceps, you have the free heads, but the distinction, as you say, is really for two heads, the lateral okay. and the long, uh, the backside and the side, basically. Okay. Um, biceps, yeah, not really a factor for us. The delts is, for practical purposes, pretty much free heads. Um, I think, depending on how you look at the regional differentiation neurologically, you could say seven or, or nine. Uh, I even think one study suggested 11, <laughs> but it's, it's more like, it's like a continuum, almost. Okay. And traps is definitely at least two, more and sort of three heads, like lower, middle, upper, because uh, the middle ones are like more horizontal, and they just pull back. The lower ones pull the scapula down, and the upper uh, ones pull the scapula up. Okay. So that's definitely different, because if you do, for example, only shrugs, like up, typical shrugs for uh, traps, then you would not develop the middle and lower uh, traps much. Oh, okay. But you also hit those with rows and chin-ups and everything. So it's typically, you don't see many people doing like, trap isolation work. You also hit them with deadlifts. So um, not really something you need to, to focus on, but like in terms of muscle function, they are definitely um, differentiable. And lats, you could sort of uh, lower lower upper lats a little bit, which is typically more like pull-ups and chin-ups. Okay. Um, the video will be back shortly, but I promised Reishi and Luna they could say something. <clears throat> but in margin, marginal, regional activation. Uh, hamstrings, of course, and then you, you, have the, uh, you have the foreheads. And the main difference is uh, hip extension and um, knee flexion, so you want like leg curls and Romanian deadlifts, for example, uh, to train all the heads well. Quads, you know, you, you have the, the four heads, but um, um, it's, it's almost one head. Like basically it's rectus of dom, um, uh, rectus femoris, and the other heads, like the, the, the lateralis, medialis. Um, it's basically quads, so like leg extension train everything, and pretty much every other movement trains all of them except the rectus femoris, which is like the middle one. Okay. Um, it, it, it can matter in that it's an argument that you want leg extensions in the program and not just squats. And then you have calves, you have the two heads, but you can uh, train them a little bit. Uh, or like from the gastrox, you have the two heads. Yeah. Um, you can emphasize one or the other a little bit, but not much. Uh, you can emphasize the soleus, which is like underneath, uh -huh. um, with like seated. Um, calf raises, yeah. but also not um, um, before workouts a week. It's also like mm, marginal because well, the size doesn't grow that much. I'm doing five or maybe even six workouts a week. I'm just saying you had me do three full body workouts. I'm doing mm -hmm. four. Right, three different ones. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right, right. I mean, yeah, then technically, ideally, you would want layers in there. Um, so basically, you have like the big muscle groups that most people care about. And then you have sort of the fringe ones, which are like neck, forearms, um, upper traps is also like aesthetically uh, um, a mix, depends on the individual. Core, for most people, comes down to rectus abdominis, like six pack, and indeed the lower erector spinae. Technically, the erector spinae are like, are, go all the way up the back. Yeah. But as soon as they get under the traps, you don't see them anymore. So, you know, most people don't do upper erector spinae work. Okay. But that would be things like front squats emphasize those a bit more okay I do want to emphasize the the traps more those typically grow pretty nicely on me 